Hello everyone, I am a Duke James. This is my Georgia campaign. We're going to do a probably what's going to be a quick war against the or at least hopefully a quick war against Karakianlu. Banurasi will be called in because they are allied to their overlords, the Jalarids. But we should be able to uh, take their capital relatively quickly. I'm going to try to take at least these two provinces. I did take two provinces from uh, Ak Kialnu, so I'm going to start taking provinces from them. This goes like the last time. They didn't have many troops at all, really. So until Banurasi actually joins this war, we're going to just spread out and try to take all their territory. We're going to immediately just siege it all down. Ek Kianlu, do you want to grab that? That'd be perfect. They are Shiite, so nobody should really care. Mazandaran got wrecked by Isfahan, so there's like three Shiite countries now, and one of them is the Jalarids, so they're not really a huge threat. Everybody got attritioned, which sucks. You go over there, you... Do something. My uh, road network's going to be from Tabriz to Azerbaijan up here, 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 and then they'll take a boat to Trapezunta. So I think that is the most efficient way. The other way is from here up, but there's uh, three mountains and a hill and a forest. So that is, I think, seven days slower than going up here. So yeah, this way is faster, even though it's actually more provinces, but then more provinces also gives you more opportunity to build roads to reduce the travel time. So I think with a complete road network, it's actually um, nine days faster, so it actually decreases the time even more. The White Horde went bankrupt, as they often do. That's the uh, White Horde for you. Yeah, they have no troops, so Banarasi didn't join. I guess technically what I could do is try and snake my way down here and conquer the Jalarids. That would give me Karakianlu as a decentralized vassal, but I'm not sure what good that would do me since Karakianlu hates me. And I don't think you can seize territory from decentralized vassals anyway, so I'm probably not going to do that. And I don't have a relation slot for it anyway. Status quo. Don't give me that. Let's move those guys up there. Let's see, how much territory can I take before people get mad? 
pretty much just the Shiites would get mad if I took those two provinces. Probably not going to take this territory anyway, but just to see. Banarasi would be mad. Is Banarasi Shiite? That makes sense, since they did ally the other Shiite. They're so far away. I think they're really negligible. I think I would just stick to regions or territories in this region. So, probably just these four provinces for now. Plus, all 15 of their ducats. They revoke a core. War reps. That gets me closer to the um, other provinces. Naples declared war on Arbanon. I might actually take this one as well. Because that puts me right up next to Montefique. Although I guess technically this one does too as well. All right, we can go to the rest of their territory. We're fine in terms of uh, aggressive expansion. Should probably give this territory to Akkianu now that I cut their efficiency, their communication efficiency off from Mazel. Yeah, we're still good. All right. The only other thing is uh, communication is communication efficiency. I think we're fine. Because they can just walk from Tabriz down that way. Something like that. We only have one rebel faction right now. Go ahead and improve relations with them. Karakianlu has gone bankrupt. So they would give me that extra bankrupt boost of 50 ducats. There's some glitch where if a country goes bankrupt, you get... I think it, it recalculates their income based on the loans, something like that. So you could get a massive amount of ducats from a bankrupt country. I'm not sure if it's before they go bankrupt or immediately after. I just know I fought the Mamluks once and I got 28,000 ducats in my uh, Castile campaign. Alright, let's go ahead and just uh, take those provinces. That did make everybody else mad.
Probably hold off down here for a while. I do want to just conquer down to Basra. Or the province next to Basra, so this one. And then something like this stuff in this area. I'm probably coming around here, coming down to here. Probably release... I was thinking of releasing Jerusalem as its own nation, but I'm not sure if I can even do that since I'm Orthodox. I think that's a Christian thing. Our nation's rank has changed. Still not a great power. We're about 90 development away. Actually, we're about 10 development away when you consider tech. So we're almost there. I think next I'm going to go back to the Mamluks, get more ducats from them. Let's bring those troops up there. I get an extra merchant. That merchant will go... I have not discovered the Persia trade note. I have not discovered the Strait of Hormuz. Node. So... I guess it'll go to Ruthenia. The other inland node. All right, looks like Tabriz has converted. And I think it's stuck. Because there's only 30% Shiites, 20% Zoroastrians. And weirdly, this province converted to Orthodox before I court it. That's funny. I don't think I actually sent a missionary there. I think that was just through um, kicking Sunnis out. I ended up doing it like three times. So the truce with uh, Memlux ends March of next year. Alright, so I'll probably play for that year and then uh, pick up when I fight the Memlux. So I'm going to end this part here and then pick it up then. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.